FBI and DHS officials will be making their way to Haiti as soon as possible and aid in the ongoing chaos on the heels of the assassination of Haiti's president, the White House announced today. This after a total of 17 men, including two U.S. nationals, were arrested in connection with the murder. ABC's Marcus Moore is in the capital city of Port-au-Prince for us. Tonight, the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security dispatching senior officials to Haiti to help investigate the brutal assassination of President Jovenel Moise, the country in utter turmoil, the Haitian government requesting American troops to help keep the peace. The government officials here declaring a state of siege. They urge people to stay in their homes and to remain calm. And that is what we have seen here. This is a moment of calm, but the concern is that this city, Port-au-Prince, and this country could descend into chaos at any moment. Tonight, many questions remain about who killed the president and why. Nearly two dozen people are now under arrest, two seen here dragged by police through an angry crowd. Officials parading suspects in front of the cameras along with a large cache of weapons. Two are American citizens, James Solage and Joseph Vincent. A Haitian judge leading the investigation says the Americans claim they were only acting as translators for the assassins. I asked acting Prime Minister Claude Joseph about their role. They have said that they were only uh, merely translators um, in the midst of this, this operation um, and that they were set up. Um, is that true? Only the investigation can tell. President Moise's uh, murder has left um, a power vacuum here in, uh, in Haiti. And a lot of people um, the, in the international community in the United States um, are watching and wondering who's in charge here now. Um, is, there, is there a power struggle going on right now? Who is in charge here in Haiti? I don't know if there is a power struggle. I'm not paying attention to whether or not there is a power struggle. I'm paying attention to uh, giving justice to President Jovenel Moyes, uh, his family, his uh, wife, uh, son and daughters. The people are in shock. The people, myself, myself, I'm in shock because no one would ever think that President Jovenel Moyes will be killed, tortured in his own house. 19 suspects are from Colombia. The head of the Colombian police says they traveled into Haiti in two teams through the Dominican Republic. He said they were recruited, but wouldn't say who recruited them and why. They wanted him. They wanted to remove him. They wanted him to step down. And we can understand what is going on. But let me let the investigation uh, tell the truth. Do you, do you believe um, there's any possibility that this crime that was committed here in Haiti was an inside job? Listen, those foreign mercenaries couldn't just come on their own and kill the president. How can you be sure that you have the right people? We do have the right people in the they are under investigation. They're talking now. So we are going to give justice. Byron, there was a moment in that interview that we did with the acting prime minister where he became emotional. There were, there were tears in his eyes when he was talking about uh, the death of uh, President uh, Moise. And it really gives you a sense of, of how much pain there is for so many people here in Haiti. And um, he also acknowledged the, the difficult road ahead, but he uh, urged people to see the potential in this country. Uh, but you cannot deny the fact, Byron, that there is um, uh, what could be a power grab here. There's a power vacuum uh, with the death of the president. And uh, the, the question is, who will lead this country into the future? Um, it remains to be answered. But what the prime minister, the acting prime minister said today is that he's not interested in power struggles. He's interested in getting this, uh, this country moving and supporting its, its people. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.